Well, um, if you allow me to respond, the manipulation may not necessarily come from the part, right? Um, if you're saying she has kids by six people, we're we're not living in a bubble. You know what I mean? The manipulation comes from birth, how we are socialized, how we are programmed mentally. So if a woman has been brought up in a, an environment where she's not um, affirmed, she's not given a sense of self-worth and value, you're going to see her behavior a reflection of that. If I she herself has experienced trauma from men in her family or even from women. So it's a lot of healing that needs to take place. It doesn't necessarily mean that the person that they're dealing with manipulated them. It just means society as a whole has a really, has us in a chokehold. I, I mean, a lot of, you could think it's excuses, but that's, if you actually study sociology, I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to I someone know. that, um, study sociology. That's, that was one of my majors, one of my majors. Um, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Nothing is done in a vacuum. It's it, it, what you see right now was 30, 40 years in the making. So it's not going to correct itself overnight, but conversations like this is a start, but to be in denial about the factors that affect human behavior and make it seem like this person's just ratchet or they're just broken people aren't born broken. This is part of what we've all co-created together through a lack of healing, through hurting people who, and, and that cycle continuing. That's what we're seeing right now. So FL. Yes. Over here, I'm very big on, um, I'm very big on um, accountability, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've all, gone through stuff in life we're all going through stuff right now we're all going to continue to go through things in the future but what i hear like women do 99.9% .9 of the time is think of everything that they could uh you know use to justify the actions of other women instead of just being like you know instead of just taking accountability and you know just just accepting that, you know, uh, I, I made the wrong decision. I made the wrong choice. I've made a lot of wrong choices. And that's and the whole the whole thing about accountability and being able to heal. Accountability is being able to look in the mirror and acknowledge that, hey, I made like a I made a bad decision. And now I have to suffer the consequences of the bad decision I made. And you accept it when you accept it now. Now you can move forward accordingly. But when we just continue, when especially women in our community, when y'all continue to just abuse, I'm, you know, these men are, they're, they, they lie, they're this, that, and the third. It just, to me personally, it be sounding like a bunch of excuses to like justify the actions that were, that, that have been made. And it's just, it's not going to help those specific women move forward. And it's not going to help the community move forward when nobody can take any accountability. I agree. Um, and I'm a big proponent, like I'm a huge proponent on self-awareness. So when I say that society as a whole has manipulated a lot of us, that's not that's not in uh, with the intention of not taking accountability, uh, accountability. It's to know the source, because. Let me give you an example. If you were a nutritionist or a fitness trainer, I should say, and you have a client who lost all this weight because you told them they need to stop eating the way they're eating and they need to start going and working out because they're sedentary, whatever. If you look at the stats, those people will lose the weight and then for some reason gain it all back and then some, right? Right. We all know this. The, ish the reason why that happens is because they didn't get down to the root cause. The root cause may not be your fault. That's what I'm saying. But it's still your responsibility to address it. So if you grew up in a toxic environment and you refuse to actually get to the root and say, it's because of what I was taught. It was because of what I was not taught. You are going to repeat the behavior no matter how much you want to say, I'm going to take accountability. You need to know why it is and then go ahead and start getting therapy. Go ahead and start reading the books. I'm very big on taking accountability. Because it is your responsibility, but you do also need to collectively give each other grace and have an understanding of empathy of where this is coming from. A lot of it 
was not our fault, but it is our responsibility to fix individually. So no, I want I want I one hundred percent um I one hundred percent agree with you, FL. And when you when you put it like that, I can um I can I can back that one hundred percent. Are there any are there any last words, any last things? You know, because you you got to hear two people talk before you. There may have been mm-hmm. some things that we discussed that you didn't touch on. Is there any last thing that you want to touch on before I move on to the next person? Um, no, I I, pre- I just want to say thank you. Um, I know we again we just met yesterday. I appreciate the the respectful dialogue, and I did learn some things from both the um, women who came on. I may not agree necessarily with everything, but I feel like growing is is my goal and I can't do that unless I hear different perspectives. So kudos to you, continue the conversations and maybe we can all kind of do our part you know what I mean? Take the information and implement them in our lives and do a little bit better every day. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for being on here. And I look forward to talking to you more. Okay. Same. All right. You have a good night. You too. She cool, man. She